What up, what up, my mini notch programmers? It's of course Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker tutorial. And today, what we're going to be doing is looking at adding water physics into our Game Maker Minecraft game so far. So, if I go and run the game now, as you can see, we uh, you know we have our we have our character here, and also we're going to fix this. Uh, basically, what happens is uh, in like Terraria or stuff like that, usually the the trees don't, you know, you can't actually collide with the trees. So we're going to fix that so that, you know, you're not going to be able to collide with the trees. And also, if we restart the game here, we have water physics now. So we can actually go into the water and it actually, you know, it's kind of uh, uh, simulating, you know, that whole dynamic of being in water and swimming and all that fun stuff. All right, so let's go and do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the player here. And we're going to be using the player for basically this entire tutorial and the only thing we need to do to take out the uh, collision with our trees and stuff is just just delete the collision with uh, object ghost block. So now if we run the game and go ahead and let it compile here, as you can see, now we have no collision. We just kind of walk through them, yet we can still uh, destroy it and all that fun stuff. All right, so now if we also, if I just restart it enough, now we have basically no, uh, uh, you know, collision with the water. So now we can't walk on water. We're not Jesus. And uh, so now all we have to do is put in some water collision code. All right. So another thing that I went ahead and found was that, you know, you can infinitely jump which I don't like. So how to fix this is in the step event of our controls, all we have to do is just pop on an and. You could do the double ampersand sign or say and, it doesn't really matter in Game Maker. But in conventionally in other programming languages, you can't just say and, you need to put the double ampersand sign. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna say not place free, x comma y plus one. And that right there is going to stop it. And that, what this code does right here is it checks below, and if and if it's not place free, so basically if there is a block underneath us, we're allowed to jump. So we can't jump in the air anymore. All right, so now on to our water physics. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say if place meeting x comma y comma object water. And I'm just going to put some curly braces and then I'm going to say else. So in our else, I'm just going to copy all of this code here and pop it in. Right? So I'm just going to copy this again. Actually, we already had it copied. And pop it in here. So now this code right here is when we're in water. And this code right here is when we're not in water. So you can even comment to yourself. Not in water. And... in water all right so if we're in water we can do stuff like set the gravity to 0 0.2 to simulate more of a floaty type effect we can make it so that we don't move as quickly so we can set the x and y to 2 and we can take this out and instead of pressed we could check if it's if it's just being pressed down and instead of 15 we could say 2 Boom, that's all we really need. So if we go and run the game now, now I'm actually not sure if that's all we need. Uh, we can go ahead and mess around with those values more. But first off, we go and run the game, and I try and jump. Oh wait, hold on. No, jumping's not working for some reason. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, all right, so I actually forgot that with Game Maker Studio, uh, place free actually checks for a solid. So what we have to do instead is just say and place meeting x comma y plus one object block, and this won't make any problems with our ghost block because now we have no collision with them. So it's actually perfect. 
All right, so let's go ahead and run it again. Let it compile here. So, so yeah, that was just a little little mix up there. So here we go. So now, as you can see, we can jump all that fun stuff, but we need to be grounded to be able to jump. So here's some water, and uh, as you can see, we get into the water, and here it's actually kind of hard to see. All right, here we go. So now we're in. Oh, okay, hold on. That's that'll cause a problem. <laughs> okay, so, whoa, this is some weird water. It's like a trampoline. Okay, I think I know the problem here. Instead of uh, minus equaling, let's just set it to equal negative two. Because what we're doing is minus equaling is basically what we're saying is v speed equals v speed minus two. So we're subtracting two to that v speed every time we are we are holding down on the. Uh, on the space key there. So let's just restart it until we get some water. Come on now. All right, here we go. Oh, and that actually is a problem, I guess. All right, so we we have the basic uh we have the basics right here. So as you can see, now we're in water. We kind of sink to the bottom there, but it's not actually, you know, it's not like up top where it was, uh, where it was, you know, just falling straight down. As you can see, we we move slower now, and we basically water is kind of like, you know, everything just moves slower and all of that fun stuff. So we just set the gravity down, and that's just a lot of values that you have to change. Now right here, we do get this glitch where, uh, where now we can like walk on the water. And what I'm going to do for that is actually, I'm just going to say, instead of check, I am going to pre say pressed. And let's say minus equals again. And let's see how that works out. Because I thought if you just press, that might be a little bit easier. But uh, here, let's check here. So here we got some water. So it's like you actually kind of have to swim now because, actually, actually, I think I like that better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Um, so what it is is basically, you know, like, I know you can't see my controls here, but now I'm gonna have to like press space in order to like swim back up. I can't just kind of hold it. But actually, regular Minecraft does have you just hold it, I believe. Uh, so if you guys want to see a the alternative method of you know, just holding the space bar in order to ascend, then go ahead and leave a comment. And if I get enough people asking for it, then I might go ahead and uh, create like a, a little alternative tutorial. And, and if you guys do, if I do end up making that, you should see an annotation on the screen right now. But if I don't, then obviously you're not going to see an annotation. But so that's going to be the tutorial for today. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 50 likes this time. And uh, I hope you guys learned something, and I've been getting asked for the water physics uh, for a while now. So leave a like, go and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Check out this uh, really cheesy outro that I just thought. I was born, thought it was fun to make. All right, see ya. Peace.